traveling today, we do have some wet weather in the east. Uh, we talked about some of that severe weather that pushed through parts of the south. Well, that system is now pushing away from the mid-Atlantic and the east coast. 54 in New York City if you're headed there today with much improving conditions. 58 in Boston up towards the New England state still seeing some of that wet and cold weather. 19 in Minneapolis for the high today. 32 in Chicago eventually. 58 in Dallas. 80 degrees in Miami with a chance for some afternoon showers. 76 in Phoenix and of course some wet weather in San Francisco watching just storm after storm really inundate the west at least the Pacific Northwest and parts of Northern California with more rain and also some mountain snow. This is one of our computer models. We utilize all of those NASA satellites for sure. That's what we do. We just watch, look at all the data. And this is one of our computer models picking up some of that cloud cover, high cloud cover that's outside right now. We're going to put this into motion. Notice as we start to see some of that green stuff move into parts of Ventura County. So this is maybe some light drizzle or light sprinkles beginning to move and enter our picture sometime later this evening. We're going to look for really early tomorrow morning. We'll start to see that steady rain light at first and then getting heavy, moderate to heavy in the afternoon and evening hours. And then by tomorrow night, you can see some freezing rain up to the higher elevations and some snow. We're looking at a blanket or more widespread showers. And then things take a little bit of a lull or a little bit of a break on Sunday early morning. A lot of that rain staying out towards the Inland Empire. So maybe breaks here and there for Sunday. And then Sunday night into Monday, the Martin Luther King Day holiday, more light to moderate rain spreading across Southern California, even up into the high desert, the Coachella Valley, looking at some showers and that snow level expected to lower to near 5,000 feet by Monday into Tuesday. It looks like a little bit of improvement after the lingering showers Tuesday morning and then a chance to dry out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What are the impacts with these upcoming storms? Well, I don't think it'll be quite as intense as the last several, but remember, we've already had quite a bit of rain and all that saturated ground. So we're still going to see rain, snow, high surf, especially along the uh, coast, some erosion, beach erosion, some minor flooding. But mud and debris flow certainly still possible. We could see some downed trees under or above those already saturated grounds and some power outages as well. And of course, dicey driving conditions. Just a quick reminder again about the drought monitor. Remember October 1st? Yeah, exceptional drought and then getting much more improvement as you see here because of all the rain we've gotten. Just a quick look at our seven-day forecast, you guys. I'm running out of time, but here we go. 59 tomorrow with that rain moving in and some uh, periods of rain through Tuesday. Temperatures will definitely cool down. 50 degrees up into the mountains, 30s as we get to the weekend with that snow chance, even in the lower deserts, that chance for showers through Tuesday. All right, let's do some TV shout-outs before you walk out that door. Uh, cutie pie here, Paris, the Jorky, half your Yorkie half Jack Russell Terrier getting the first haircut of the year. She's cute. She's super cute. And then uh, happy birthday to Zoe Lee, your mom, your dad, your noni, papa, your aunts, your uncles, and your cousins all love you so much. Very cute photo of you and your dad. You can send me your photos so we can share them here. Email tvshoutouts at fox.com. All right, we'll be right back.